Welcome to the 3 minute trash and boss guide to Deadmines Heroic. This reworked classic dungeon has 6 bosses, making it one of the most efficient dungeons for loot and justice points. We begin the dungeon by pulling some inconsequential ogres and kobolds. Use the cannon to nuke them down as it does a huge amount of damage. The ogre bodyguard does a decent amount of damage to the tank and reduces their parry and dodge to zero. These can be pulled back to the cannon if your group is struggling. The first boss club talk has two faces. Phase 1 is a tank and spank, and once he reaches 50%, he'll no longer attack and do a fire beam cutter, similar to Halion on normal. He'll also spawn circles of fire and ice on the ground that should be avoided. As will spawn, AoE them down. If you're a ranged DPS, you can stand in the doorway to avoid having to move for the cutter. And remember, don't get a case of the melee brain. The next room has two mobs, you only have to worry about the overseers that cast Motivate that does a big amount of damage and ought to be interrupted. You can also click the chains of the monkeys to make them friendly and help you in the fight. In the second boss room, you'll encounter Oath Lackeys. They do a nasty bleed on the tank. If you get two bleeds at once, use a defensive cooldown. The second boss has two faces. In the first phase, he'll drop bombs on the ground under players. Stay roughly stacked and move in a clockwise manner. He'll pick someone up and smash them into the big log. Once the first boss dies, the second phase begin. There'll still be bombs on the ground and he'll attach a bomb to someone's chest. Stay under the log to avoid taking fall damage on the way back. In the following room, you only have to care about the Defiance Evokers, interrupt their holy fires at all costs. Then we get to the Forge room. Make sure one DPS controls the Harvester. Kill the Tank and Spank adds until you get to Foe Reaper 5000. The boss does three things of note. First, he spawns adds that does pulsing AoE damage. It's a jump of the Harvester to deal with these by damaging and knocking them away from the group. Second, he'll do a whirlwind ability called Overdrive. Make sure to move away. And third, Harvest, which targets a player, and once it finishes the cast, he'll do a continuous frontal cleave, killing everyone in his path. Avoid his mechanics, and the boss will die. In the next room, AoE down the packs while pulling the mobs away from the Rage Stone cast by the Blood Wizards. They increase damage for anyone within it by 50%, so range move inside. Press the cannon to open the door, and avoid the cannon blast on the ground as you're running to the ship. On the ship, there'll be pirates and squall shapers. Pirates do nothing, but squall shapers have a nasty spell called Sea Swell, so that should be interrupted. Then we have Admiral Ripsnarl. He runs away and hides at 75, 50, and 25% and summons adds. These have a small amount of HP and should be focused down. If left up, they become big and double in health. If left up for long enough, they explode and do massive damage. Prior adds while damaging the boss and you'll be good to go. Right after that you have Cookie, he'll spawn food on the ground, DPS pick up good food and tank pick up rotten food and kill the boss. For the last boss Vanessa Van Cleef, you have to go through a gauntlet event. Every mechanic is pretty much just tank and spank, avoid cutters and if you wipe, you have to start over. Then you get to fight the final boss. Van Cleef spawns adds like her father. When adds are up, she'll generally cast Deflection, giving her 100% parry. Kill the adds and stand in Rage Stone. At 50, 25, and 0%, she'll set fire to the ship, click the ropes, swing away while the fire is up. Rinse and repeat until dead. And that's how you complete Deadmine's Heroic. Subscribe for more 3-minute guides. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.